back to the phone lines. We'll talk to Monica. She's listening in St. Joseph, Missouri. Hi, Monica. Hi. Thank you for taking my call. My pleasure. Um, I actually have been having an issue with um, a skeptic Christian. Um, they, they believe in Jesus and all of that, but yet they still have doubts. And they recently brought to me something about Jesus Ben Pantera. I've had a lot of issues with, I can't wrap my mind around it, but um, they found a Roman soldier with Pantera's name and Jesus' father. What would I say to disprove that? Well, first of all, the truth of that story is that it has no truth. In other words, it has no substance to back it up. But secondly, it's important to note that this would be a deal breaker for all Christians. I mean, if we found an ossuary with the bones of Jesus Christ, it would be game over for Christianity. The same thing, however, is true in this case because Mary would have been a sexually promiscuous woman and the Bible would be completely incorrect vis-a-vis -vis what it is communicating with respect to the virgin birth. So all of that in toto spells the end of the Christian story. But there's no evidence for this whatsoever. What we do have evidence for is that the Bible's divine as opposed to merely human origin. When we say that, it is not merely a dogmatic assertion, it's a defensible argument. You can look at the manuscript evidence by which we can get back to the autographer, the archaeological evidence which validates the people, the places, and even the particulars that you have chronicled in the pages of Scripture. And then you have the Bible replete with prophecy that could never be pawned off to good guessing, common sense, or just dumb luck. So the evidence that the Bible can be trusted with respect to the virgin account is overwhelming. The Pantera evidence is underwhelming at best.